Good evening, teachers. I know that after the first few days of remote and virtual learning, we all have some hesitations about some of the abilities that students have while they are in Teams when they are or are not supervised. And so there are a few settings in the program and in meetings that I want to walk you through this evening so you can maybe have some more successful virtual meetings going forward. So first of all, I want you to click on either your picture or um, if you haven't changed it to your picture and it's just your initials, click on that. You wanna to go to settings. And then under general, I want you to make sure that you have this box turned on. Turn on new meeting experience. Now once you do that, you do need to restart Teams, which may mean you need to go up here to Microsoft Teams and quit and then go back in. Um, but my computer's being a little slow tonight, so I'm not gonna click on that. But I already have this setting on and it will make a difference in how you run your meetings. So next, I'm gonna work in this um, just fake team that I've made for the purpose of this video and I've added some members to it. And I want to pretend like we're gonna start a meeting. So in, while I'm in my team, I'm gonna schedule a meeting now. So that means that all the members of my team are going to be invited. And you'll notice that up here, there's no option for any meeting settings or anything. So let's pretend um, that I put in a meeting and I sent it. So I'm just gonna close it for now because I've already made one. And I'm gonna go back to the calendar. So after you input that meeting in the calendar, I want you to go back to the calendar. So here's the meeting I just made. And now when I open it, you see I have links that I didn't have before. I have one here and I have one here. Either one you can go in and set. Now when you click on that, it's gonna open up whatever is your default browser. So on this computer, mine is actually Safari and Safari doesn't play nice with Teams. So you can copy the link into a Chrome browser or you can just change your default browser to Chrome. So this is the meeting, or this is the screen that will open after you hit meeting options, meeting options, and then you will get um, this screen right here. So the question is who can bypass the lobby? And I think it's in your best interest to just put only me. That way you control the lobby. I would keep both of these checked no, and then who can present only me. So I'm gonna save these options and it'll save to that meeting. It'll tell me it's all done. And then I am ready to go into my meeting. So I'm working with a student iPad on my end and let me get somebody in there so you can see what that looks like so i will mute it and when you're in that meeting you will see participants and when you see those participants on this side, you'll see that I have a participant in the lobby right here. Now look at the difference now in my meeting. So first of all, here were the presenters, that's me. And when um, Lillian and Lindsay came into the meeting, came into the meeting, they came in as attendees. Hey, I can't hear anything you're saying. That's because I'm making a video, Miss Carol, and I'm using a very oh, okay. fancy microphone. Okay, so I'm gonna mute you again so you don't hear that. So Miss Carol here is in as an attendee, and then these folks are just the presenter. So that means now that there are a lot of things that she couldn't do that she once could. So you wanna make sure, now let's say that I made her a presenter, and I allow I her to be the presenter, and then I change my mind and I don't want her to be the presenter anymore. I can I move that. her back and make her an attendee. Okay, 
So then she's back in that and she doesn't have the abilities that she once did. So I think if you change those settings in your calendar invites, then it'll be much better. Now let's say that you forgot to change those settings. You can always click on the freckles at the top of this meeting. You can always click on these three and do meeting details and meetings options are down here as well. So that's a little less convenient. So if you can do it up front, it's definitely going to be easier. So my student over here, Miss Carol, is having a really difficult time not keeping herself muted. She's probably texting me wondering what I'm doing. So I'm going to mute her again. All right. So one thing you should also keep in mind, uh, you already saw the pin on the other video. She keeps unmuting herself. So she's one of those students. And... <laughs> Um, but she doesn't know I'm going to send this to the whole faculty. So another option, um, I can remove her from the meeting because she isn't behaving. So I hope that helps a little bit. And going forward, it'll make your online experiences a little more enjoyable. Again, that lobby is set up and, um, it will hopefully make things a little more smoothly for your next Wednesday and for our virtual teachers going forward. So thanks guys for watching. And I do hope it helps a bit. Bye-bye.